All right, should we start? Higher one, uh, microphone is working. Hello, hello, how are you doing today? Hello. Yeah, uh, should we start? Yes. So, so if you don't mind, can we are starting now because here streaming also going on. Uh, uh, I am super happy to be here and to see you all here in Amsterdam. Today, my talk is about powering AI capabilities with API management. Uh, specifically with API Gateway because it's a herd mechanism of uh, APM, right? First of all, let me introduce myself. Let's come in, come in. My name is Babur, uh, which means tiger in English. My last name can be translated like a living more. It means tiger who is living longer in this life, right? Uh, you can call me Babur or tiger. Uh, or reach out to me on these uh, social channels. I will be always happy to have a chat. If you have questions regarding my session, always welcome. Uh, here's the agenda for today. I uh, will shortly talk about uh, specifically what is the open source Apache API 6 API Gateway, right? And then uh, we're gonna go through the benefits of using API Gateway with OpenAI or chat plugins, which is a quite new topic, right? And how we can use uh, not ChatGPT plugins, but API Gateway plugins to enhance uh, these OpenAI capabilities, right? And I will show you how you can configure primary edge functionalities for OpenAI API. If you are already working with some uh, AI functionalities, I will have a short demo at the end. I hope you will love it. So uh, let's start with APIs. Uh, APIs, we know that just the three letters, right? By now, uh, we are all familiar with this term. Now, raise your hand if you don't know what's API. Everybody knows, right? Just application programming interface, right? Which is, uh, everybody, everybody is APIs, like, because even ChatGPT uses API, right? To uh, retrieve some uh, REST of, uh, functionality through using the REST, some AI-generated models where uh, OpenAI has recently launched uh, chat uh, plugins capabilities where you can use or you build your own plugin and add extra intelligence uh, to your open API data, right? Uh, that's right. Uh, we need to build our own new API or use existing API for our chat uh, GBT plugins. Uh, that's my talk is about how you can integrate uh, your API with OpenAI, and then next, uh, how you can use it for ChatGPT plugins. So, uh, and we know that success of any service nowadays, if, be, if you're using API first approach, depends on performance, availability, and integrity of your APIs, right? Every service. And uh, here is a question rise, another question like how we can achieve these three indicators of success. There are many ways, right? We need to uh, continuously monitor, we need to uh, deploy somewhere in the cloud and so on. But some of how we can achieve it, my solution is using API Gateway. Uh, one way of achieving these three indicators and to build successful service or ChatGPT plugin service. Uh, because nowadays we are, uh, how to say, exposing a functionality of single product by using multiple microservices or serverless APIs or maybe some sort of uh, GraphQL uh, which is just retrieving data from database. And uh, the consumers need to consume API functionalities from more than one microservice, right? In this diagram, who doesn't know what's API Gateway, it sits in the middle, uh, which uh, routes uh, incoming requests to the internet destinations, right? Internet destination can be everything. It can be third party service uh, or uh, maybe gRPC APIs and so on. In other words, it's acts a sync layer between your clients and the backend service network, right? Uh, now we know what's the API gateway, and now let's say what's the API gateway plugins. It is, they are just additional component, right? Uh, where you can add this component to API gateway to make uh, more further extended uh, functionality for your API gateway. 
right, uh, to provide some cross-cutting concerns, like uh, uh, we say authentication, security, traffic control, caching, serverless transformation. There are a lot of modern API gateway uh, features nowadays. You can use for a ingress controller also. My, my colleague on the first floor was also talking about how you can use uh, API gateway for ingress controller. There are a lot of solutions in, the wor uh, in this uh, modern uh, world. Like, uh, but today I'm going to talk about specific API gateway. I'm not uh, sending, of course, but uh, I'm just representing API 6 because it's a nice feature. Uh, it has a nice features because it's under Apache Software Foundation. Maybe you are already part of it. Uh, raise your hand. Who is actually committing or committer of ESF? Uh, like a Kafka, do you know Kafka, Cassandra, Tomcat, all these uh, Apache Software Foundation projects, right? Nobody new uses uh, or contributes to open source? No? You? Okay, which project? Oh, oh, oh yeah, it's so good. <laughs> great, great, yeah. Look at API 6 is also one of the top uh, fastest growing project of API, uh, uh, API 6 or uh, Apache Software Foundation, which is called API 6, right? Why API 6? You can ask, like, because uh, there is actually seven continents in the world, but 6 means uh, in China, uh, as, as, I, as I know, it's uh, some successful number. That's why they call API 6. Not a 6 version of API, but just successful number. So, uh, and why I like this, uh, because sometimes uh, you use existing plugins, right? Uh, existing plugins, or sometimes you need to create your own plugin uh, from scratch, because uh, you need, it should need, uh, meet your customer requirements. And I can create my custom plugin and, uh, in the programming language that uh, I am familiar with. Like, I can use Java, because I'm a Java developer, or I can use uh, JavaScript libraries or a plugin runner to build my own plugins. But if you are lazy enough and you don't like to write the code, you can use a dashboard. It's also open source friendly UI dashboard where you can just build your own plugin by combining one or multiple plugins together. That's on a drawing board, right? You can just put some conditions and where you can specify uh, some authentication rules, uh, rate limiting, and so on. And here we go. You will have a ready plugin, and you can export it as the OpenAI specification or YAML JSON file and use it somewhere else, maybe some other open uh, API gateways. Uh, this is dashboard, what I like, right? Next, now switch back to the main topic. Uh, what is the OpenAI API? Who knows? Who knows OpenAI API? No? Did you, <laughs> did you try to uh, use uh, API uh, by using tokens, retrieve some AI models? Uh, we're starting. Yeah, you're starting. Okay, me too. I also tried to create this demo uh, specifically by experimenting, uh, uh, talking to the API. <laughs> because uh, API, of course, it just exposes some powerful AI models through the, some endpoints, right, to you instead of using a dashboard UI. Uh, so, as a developer, uh, I use API, right? Instead of uh, using, uh, I would say, uh, UI, or I, use, I can use CLI tool. So, uh, this API actually some endpoints where uh, you can make a text completion, right? You just uh, ask something, AI, AI, AI responds to you. If I ask, give me a product description, what's the Apple Pro 13? It can provide some description, right? Or you can do some code completion, right? You can uh, write some code, and then it can help you to find out bugs and so on. This AI capabilities, or you can generate images from text, or you can put send episode API one image. It will create some uh, variations of different images, right? There are only three features I listed out here. Actually, read a lot of them. OpenAI uh, that offers, right? And how, and what kind of integration benefits you can get out of integrating API gateway into OpenAI, first of all, scalability, like means you can scale your APIs how you want, horizontally. Like if one API service is failing, another API service can get the job because there is a routing mechanism that API gateway offers, right? Next one is performance. You can uh, enable some caching in the middle of OpenAI API, API Gateway, and Client. API, API Gateway can cache your response. You don't have to worry about uh, spending your API uh, account usage, right? Uh, or if the same response you need, but multiple times you, you are using caching, can help it. And observability, for example, one of those uh, good points, you can monitor, you can check metrics, logs, 
and so on using uh, the same API gateway, API management in total. The API management is with just with portal and with UI, right? And most important is security, how you can secure your uh, chat GPT plugin APIs or open AI APIs using uh, API management. You can achieve that uh, with the help of plugins. Uh, I listed some of the plugins, uh, six on main plugins, uh, like transformation, caching, and so on. You can have a look. So, and now let's switch uh, uh, more theoretical, uh, I mean, practical part, enough theoretical part, right? Now we have a knowledge, we know what's the API gateway, open AI API, we know what's the plugin. Am I right? Or, <laughs> okay. Uh, this is actually, I draw the diagram, how it looks like my demo. Let's imagine that I have a client application, uh, mobile application maybe. And then I want to build uh, some uh, one single page mobile application where I need to show to my clients where my clients can type. Please provide me this product description or uh, please give me uh, this uh, information about this food. And then AI responds uh, and generates some response, but uses in the middle API gateway because well, why we are using API gateway for routing requests because we do have, we might have not only one single. Uh, API endpoint, maybe multiple, because routing uh, can uh, route automatically, and to manage our API consumers, because we can have uh, one or more API consumers, right? We can share our uh, tokens and so on. Actually, as you can see on the right side, slash v1 slash completions endpoint uh, coming from OpenAI. You can check it out on the website, the official uh, endpoint publicly available, but you need to uh, access it by using tokens. And what I'm doing, I'm putting in the middle uh, my own website, uh, mywebsite.com, which is uh, uh, using API Gateway to make these functionalities available. But I am exposing this product description endpoint uh, with my custom uh, domain and URA path, right? As you can see, mydomain.com slash uh, openai slash product slash the, the description. Uh, and this request will be forwarded to OpenAI, OpenAI responds, and in the middle I'm doing caching, observability, API consuming, and uh, versioning, and so on. Is it clear why uh, we are using here API Gateway? Or does it sound good? Or <laughs> Good, in this case, let's uh, jump into the demo, how we can achieve that. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna show you. Uh, if I switch back, first thing, of course, uh, who doesn't know what's OpenAI API, this is actually the website. Uh, everybody can see, right? That's good. Uh, and here's the website. First thing, you need to create an account, free account. It's 18 USD dollars. You can get monthly to uh, retrieve some uh, OpenAI requests and responses. Uh, you can generate some secrets to access this API, or you can upgrade your account into uh, OpenAI Plus which is $20 per month. Uh, but I think I'm still using two months is uh, free. It's okay. It's enough for me. Uh, so first thing, account, API keys. Once you get API keys, you can just read out some documentation, of course, how, how you can use this API, how you can authenticate to this API, for example, by using builder token. Uh, this uh, OpenAI gives you builder token where you can put this token in the authorization header. Uh, here, as you can see, and then start to request and create something great for your customers, uh, right? Uh, so I will leave it for you. Now, what I want to achieve is, uh, as you can see, uh, you can find also uh, my uh, demo today uh, here, for example. Let me also present here, as you can scan. If you scan this QR code, there is a GitHub repository. I mean, this presentation will be not enough, 20 minutes. There is a full guided tutorial. You can read it out and try yourself with API 6 and OpenAI how you can achieve uh, some uh, cross-cutting cross -cutting functionalities. If you scan it, I will just switch it off. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, I think it's a bit better. This is my repo I, cre I created before our talk uh, for you uh, because you know 20 minutes always not enough to cover this long topic. Uh, it, it consists of basically uh, this URI. There are some API 6 projects with Docker Compose. You can bring some unnecessary containers. There is also blog post. You can read it out how you can do a step by step. Uh, and there is also curl commands. And because I love the coral commands, you can use Postman or Insomnia to achieve the same, but there are some step-by-step -step, 
uh, how you can integrate this OpenAI pair with API 6. For example, you create upstream, you create a plugin configuration, you create a route, step by step, just follow the numbers. Right? And then you do some complex things, how you can do canary release, and you, you can publish your first API uh, publicly and maybe uh, deploy into to the cloud, like uh, Azure Cloud. What is your favorite cloud? Uh, you, can, you can just uh, deploy it. So let's start it. Uh, I have downloaded my, uh, this project. Uh, I am already running. I have uh, this uh, example curl commands uh, folder is open it, and I am using Windows machine, as you can see, because I was working at Microsoft for a while. Uh, I, I don't have a choice. I used Windows, and uh, <laughs> you can use Docker desktop installed on my machine, and as you can see, I did Docker Compose app. I have some containers, like API 6 dashboard. Uh, if you don't want to use Coral, you can just use dashboard or some other uh, things, like Grafana, Prometheus for monitoring. And uh, let's, let's go by, as you can see here, uh, I hope this is uh, big enough. Uh, this is actually open AI uh, completion endpoint. I want to ask AI, please provide description, uh, product description for Apple Sword in Pro. You can replace, of course, any keyword. And up to uh, uh, 256 characters should be the response. If you don't specify it, you will get a long uh, book. What is the Apple from the Steve Jobs stories? So that's why I just uh, cut it off. Uh, let's run without API Gateway. I'm not using API Gateway. As you can see, I have builder token. You can just hit copy and use my, <laughs> my token. Uh, but I just copy this curl command and put this in terminal. Uh, I can open maybe uh, another terminal to show you. Uh, I hope we, we, have, we do have still some, some time, right? Uh, if I press this, as you can see, it takes some time because the AI generate, should generate some response, right? As now, uh, my response coming from AI. Uh, as you can see, Apple 13 Pro is perfect laptop, I know, but it's not perfect uh, in terms of money. Uh, <laughs> it's too expensive. You will get this response back. Uh, now there is no API gateway. Imagine there is no API gateway. Uh, and now my task is to enable API gateway put uh, in the middle of this request. Uh, not, instead, of exact, uh, instead of directly uh, reaching OpenAI API, I will reach first my API gateway, and API gateway forwards the request. To do so with API 6, with most of the open, uh, open source API gateways, like a Kong, we should create upstream service. Uh, you can use curl command uh, to access, let's say, admin API to create your for upstream. Upstream means your backend service. Backend service, in my case, uh, OpenAI API, right? Uh, with, and you can uh, register also nodes, uh, so one node or multiple nodes. Why we need nodes? If one node fails, you can always uh, fall back to the next uh, available node, right? Uh, for the simplest, I'm using only a single node, but you can use multiple nodes as well. And I'm using uh, some sort of uh, algorithm, round robin, just simple algorithm to route this request. And scheme HTTPS means securely connect. Uh, OpenAI API because it requires to have some certificate and so on. But of course, you can use TLS connection if you wish. Uh, and next, create, let's create this upstream first. Uh, and now API 6 response, okay. Uh, your upstream, your backend service registered. Uh, OpenAI API now, it's ready. But still, we need some plugins, right? Plugins for what? Uh, plugins to rewrite our request uh, coming to our custom uh, slash, uh, slash uh, product description to V1 completion. That's why I'm using a proxy rewrite plugin here. And I'm rewriting host, I'm adding headers because OpenAI API accepts headers with authorization token, right? That's why I need you to use this plugin. Let's create this plugin uh, configuration, again, using admin API of API 6. Uh, maybe it's better I put, and again, like open another terminal. If you put press, now uh, the plugin is enabled. It's straightforward, right? And next, third step, uh, now I have a, a upstream. I have a plugin config, and now I need to create route, which is last step. Uh, route means just uh, checks uh, matching rules. It has some matching rules, uh, which request should go to which backend service. It identifies. So it means we are saying every post request uh, coming to uh, this URI should be forwarded to this upstream using these plugins. Right? Uh, very uh, kind of understandable. Ah, five minutes left. Okay, thank you. I have also two minutes or three minutes left now. Uh, now let's create this uh, route, the, which is last step. Uh, I can create this. I have a route now. 
uh, we did only three steps, and the last step, of course, just to test if we, uh, this API gateway is good. As you can see now, only differences with the curl command we did uh, in the beginning, you are saying, you, you see this, I'm using my domain, in this case, localhost, and I'm using my URI, not the OpenAI URI, right? Uh, and I'm sending the same post request, but in this case, API gateway already now in the middle. It's uh, uh, intercepting my requests. If I do the same request now, uh, now my request will go to API Gateway first, and it will go to OpenAI API and responds back. Again, API Gateway gets this response and so sends back to us. But I will get the same response, right? Now, only difference is it, I can uh, now add extra functionalities on the top of my solution, right? I can create consumers, I can create uh, authentication, uh, I can create uh, also a next version of my upstream when I have two upstreams. If I want to add new feature uh, while I keeping the uh, current consumers uh, of using old feature, I can use some A-B testing uh, techniques, right? There's all the capabilities of modern API gateways. Not only API 6, you can check it out. I have a lot of blog posts written about uh, what is the best API gateway for your choice. So this is all about uh, before we finish, let me also put some takeaways, like what are the takeaways we have today. So we can use uh, uh, API management uh, um, solution to control your open AI, API traffic. You can use Azure API management if you're using already the Azure cloud, it's up to you. Or you can use uh, API gateway, uh, like a basics upstream route plugins uh, to enable some uh, proxy caching, some security features, and so on. Or you can manage your API consumers using the same API gateway from single entry point. This is my takeaways uh, today. Like uh, Now, there are some references. I'm going to also leave it for you. If you would like to learn more about API 6 specifically or API gateway, feel free. So with that, enough for me. Like, thank you for your attention. If you have a question, just we do have maybe a couple of minutes. No? Three minutes. Oh, we have three minutes. Okay, on time. Any questions? Any questions? And for for your question, you can get uh, the, some uh, medals. <laughs> I have also on the table, like you can collect. This is actually a medal you can just put here and then go ahead. Yes, okay. So, so how would you sum it up? What you've done? How would you like summarize what you, what you've what you've accomplished through this, and, and what are you thinking next? Trying to get an idea of like yes, very good question. That's why I prepared the uh, answer for your question beforehand. Uh, what, you, what I did, uh, I have only recording here. I will show you just a moment. Uh, I have a recording here. What I did, I created a custom connector using power apps uh, for API 6. Uh, right? You need a custom uh, connector to use uh, you know, on a power up application. I built my mobile application. Uh, using without uh, any code. I used for as you can see on the screen. What I did, uh, just a moment. Uh, I need to it's, uh, just, uh, I think it's back here. I built the, the same, instead of now Coral Command, I'm using an Android application. I'm building, I'm building iOS application for the same solution. Now I can provide the same product name and uh, uh, specify some character limits and some generate some response. This is uh, actually uses only the simple backend. Uh, Code like uh, which Power Apps provides, like an Excel uh, function, right? uh, and uh, as you can see, I spent like five minutes to build this mobile application, and now I can. It's really a product, right? Uh, it's el helpful actually. You can ask everything; it can answer. You see, it's a preview version. Uh, if you become my user, I will give you the application. <laughs> APK. Yeah, I'm asking the same, right? The same, uh, and I can generate some response back. Uh, uh, it, it, oh, so you created the prompt about Apple to use with the API for your app. Yeah, great. Yeah, okay. exactly. I mean, no, you, you can ask everything, not only Apple, but certain prompts. It could be anything. <laughs> yeah. Right, yeah. Exactly. So, is there a lot of use case, right, for this? You can ask for uh, open flights or you can schedule something. Uh, you can build any uh, mobile application with Power Apps. You can integrate with uh, API management. By API management, I explain it. And also you can use AI.
this modern uh, stack, I believe, nowadays. I mean, if you have a, a medium or junior skills, you can do this. So your app will provide product description theoretically, right? Exactly. And you can pull it from OpenAI and get that data. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you get a point, right? <laughs> yeah. I spent, to be honest, like uh, to prepare this uh, mobile application uh, 20 minutes, maybe 22 minutes. I create a custom connector. Uh, and of course, I have free now account. That's why uh, if I show you without demo, it could take a lot of time. However, I'm working slowly. And this is one of the disadvantages, but uh, this is an application. Ah, yeah, sorry. No questions? And we have our own time. Like, if you have a question, I will be there. Um, you can ask me everything, uh, not only Open API Gateway, but everything. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.